Altar of the Fatherland. Welcome back to one of my favorite travel vlogs about Italy. This time here in the heart of the altar of the fatherland. It is one of the eye-catching national monuments here in Rome that offers arguably the best spot for a particular panoramic view of Rome from the top of this monument at the evening. I love this place so much. It looks so beautiful when the white Botticini marble glistens in the sun that makes the look at the site unforgettable. This three-level memorial was designed by the architect Giuseppe Sacconi, built in 1885, and is enormous. In fact, it is 81 meters tall and 135 meters wide. It dominates over the Piazza Venezia. The Vittoriano, as it is known to locals, symbolizes a new Italy. In fact, it celebrates the unification of Italy under the first king of United Italy, Victor Emmanuel II. It is just a few minutes away from the Capitoline Hill. Let's explore together the Altar of the Fatherland. Inside the Victoriano, it houses a Museum of Italian Resurgence and a tomb of a known soldier near the Statue of Rome. Today, it's the month of August, and it is one of the places I had to visit after seeing the wonderful Capitoline Hill. It's midday and just the right time to visit this place, before a larger crowd starts to form later during the day. In the summer days, the altar of the fatherland is open to the public between 9.30 a.m. and 7.30 p.m. What a stunning view on this beautiful three-level monuments from the Piazza Venezia, isn't it? You can spot various reliefs and statues around and on the Vittoriano. that I found the most interesting are the two fountains of the two seas. They are set against the external base of the altar of the fatherland and inserted in flower beds. Those fountains are dedicated to the major Italian seas, the Adriatic and the Tyrrhenian Sea. talk and let's face the Vittoriano. Let's climb the wide staircase of 243 steps and click some stunning photos. If you like this video and want to hear more, then please hit the thumb up and smash the subscribe button below.
More exciting travel destinations to come on this YouTube channel, Muhammad Ali Travel. If you want to be a part of this amazing trip, please hit the thumb up and smash the subscribe button below. On the way up towards the central section of the monument, two soldiers stand at the tomb of the unknown soldier just below the statue of the goddess Roma, while an eternal flame burns nearby. On a pedestal, in the middle of the entire structure, stands the equestrian bronze statue of Vittorio Emanuele II, the first king of ununified Italy. On its base, there are 14 Italian cities, Above the columns, in the columns, are the 16 regions of the time. What a stunning view from this spot under the Trahana Column, which is indeed an incredible monument from the 2nd century AD. It commemorates Roman Emperor Trahan's victory in the Dacian Wars. This is one of the places that you should visit when you're here in Rome, Italy. Behind me you can see uh, Vittorio Emmanuel II, which is also known as Alter de Patria, that was built to honor Victor Emmanuel II, the first king of a unified Italy here in Rome.
let's move to the second level and get a chance to find a spot that offers a stunning view over the Piazza Venezia and along the Via del Corso. On the second level, we will also have a closer look at the equestrian bronze statue of Vittorio Emanuele II. Let's move to the third level and take a rest at the Piazzale del Boletino. This area holds two founding memories of Italian identity. Both are linked with the First World War, the encryption with the text of the so-called Bulletin of Victory and a block of stone from Mount Grappa are both highlights of this area. Heading now back to the point of our start, enjoy the walk with me!
and please look forward to my upcoming video about the most captivating place in Rome, the Spanish Steps, which attracts millions of visitors every year. See you next time! Hi everyone, my name is Alicia and I'm from the USA. Are you fancy to win 200 USD? Then join our awesome competition on MohammedAli.tv and turn your dream into an exciting adventure. It is as easy as one, two, three. So let's go. Step one, tweet the three hashtags. Hashtag Muhammad Ali, hashtag love travel, hashtag win money with your photo standing in front of your favorite landmark. For example, the Eiffel Tower in Paris, followed by a few of your own words to describe the photo. Step two, subscribe to the YouTube channel of Muhammad Ali, like and share it, and leave a meaningful travel quote of your choice in the comment section. Step three, send an email to subscribe and win at mohammedali.tv with your name and age to register your interest. As usual, our terms and conditions apply. More info can be found on www.mohammedali.tv. Wish you good luck and see you next time. Ciao.